Hello, my name's Kevin. We're watching World Night Prepper. So you might be going, hmm, that's an interesting title for today's video. A Fool and His Money. You may have seen it. You go out to a different place, I don't know, a hardware store, um, various restaurants that do uh, takeout and <clears throat> At a restaurant, you should be tipping. Now, this is basically what this video is about, tipping. If your server is actually taking care of you and has earned your tip, that's wonderful. Tip them. They work for tips. If that's the industry that they're in, that's what they work for. But if you're going in to do a takeout order, it's not a server that's putting your food together. Typically, it's one of the cooks or one of the managers. Every now and then, there'll be a server server may have to bring it from the kitchen out and that's just not deserving of a tip I'm sorry it's just not usually it's put together and done by management now I've not been in every restaurant so I can't tell you everything for sure that's just been my experience um, <clears throat> working at different restaurants and my wife owning one how they do things the servers typically take care of the in-house customers and they do not take care of the other so I'm sure you've seen it uh, if you go into a donut shop that I frequent uh, I mean not one that I frequent but if you go into a donut shop there's one that I frequent and they've got a sign up front saying tips little jar all right so my entire interaction is about 30 seconds <sighs> B and A hang on My entire interaction with this person is about 30 seconds. They don't work for tips. They get paid an hourly wage. But they're going to ask me to tip them for reaching literally behind them, grabbing a donut, putting it in a bag, here you go. And I'm just thinking, money's hard to come by. Um, I've gone back to work after I broke my arm and been back now for two weeks. I'm working 60 plus hours a week. Why am I going to give it to somebody? Just give it. It's the same way with the vagrants that you see on the side of the road. I know people personally who give their money away to these people and then they come and complain saying, I don't have money for this, I don't have money for that. Well, you're giving your money away. Well, these people need help. No, these people don't need help. These people are a victim of their own circumstance. They either A, don't learn from their mistakes, B, don't have the type of job that they needed to have in the first place to support themselves, or just too lazy to work the extra hours to do it. I work two and three jobs, so is my wife. Honestly, I'm getting ready to, if everything goes right, get a side hustle so I can make extra money so I see these people on the side of the road all the time and I'm sure you do too if you're giving money to them you're the problem not them if you don't give them the money they're not gonna be standing there begging because they're gonna know that they can't get away with it anymore if somebody truly does need help there are plenty of places that will help <clears throat> So, before you give away your hard-earned money to somebody who has not earned it or who does not deserve it, meaning the vagrants, people you see up there, we'll work for food. Here's my sign, we'll work for food. No, you won't. If I ask you to come wash my car and I'm going to give you a sandwich and a bag of potato chips and a Coca-Cola, are you going to come do it? No, you're not. You just want to stand out there. Here, I will have another one. Water's free. Donations help. Where do you get the money for the donation or for the water? You stand out there smoking, and you got a cell phone, and you really need my money? I don't think so. Here in America, we have the fattest poor people on the planet. So, anyhow, before you give your money away, think long and hard. What are you going to have to sacrifice for somebody who has not earned it? Have a good one, guys.